For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 is the most rehearsed scripture of all times. Every believer and non-believer know this verse by heart. It was important to the synagogue of Satan to program this verse into the minds of the people all over the world. The reason the kingdom of darkness wanted the Israelites and non-Israelites to memorize this verse, this verse is the foundation to Satan's religion system. The purpose of programming John 3.16 into the minds of the people was to get everyone to bow down and worship Satan. Satan's interpretation of this verse was to make everyone feel included. By doing this, the people would not hesitate to accept Satan's religion system. In order for Satan to conquer the Most High's creation, he gave the indigenous people hope wrapped in deception. He manipulated the Israelites into accepting the false ideology. In addition, make the Israelites believe he is on their side. Satan used fear and intimidation to get the heathens to accept his religion. History said the invaders carried their Bible and a gun into every nation, forcing the people to accept the Christian religion. If they refused, they destroyed them. Nowadays, the descendants of these diabolical hybrids want you to say they converted the people and not use trauma to convert the people. Or else this message is hate speech. The hybrids were able to conquer the indigenous native Indians in the Americas. They pretended to be their friends and signed multiple peace treaties. Once the Indians let their guard down, they attacked them and stole their land. Israelites, do you see why the hybrids wants to enforce the all people doctrine? When they oppress us and kill us unjustly, we say our lives matter. They say all lives matter. The same people who profess all lives matter gun down other people and build walls to keep other people out, then turn around and say all lives matter. Hypocrites. Open Diary is exclusive to Israelites. Those who are not Israelites are welcome to listen and learn truth if the Most High lead them to this channel. I will never alter the message the Most High gave me to make the heathens feel good about their past and present. Every now and then I would have a heathen demanding that open diary should be geared to all people like the satanic religion system. I recommend that you find another channel if you're looking for false hope and lies. I am sure YouTube algorithm will be able to recommend a wonderful channel that fit your mindset. The Most High is not looking to save the wicked. The all people ideology did not come from the Most High. The kingdom of darkness intention with John 3.16 is to make the people believe that the Most High love all people and has forgiven every one of their sins. By worshiping Jesus, the one that came in his own name, and accept this Jesus, you will gain eternal life. Through the John 3.16 deception, the synagogue of Satan can better control the world while Satan get the worship he desire. Let us decode John 3.16. The first thing you must determine, who are the people John were teaching? Were they Israelites or heathens? Yeshua sent his disciples to teach the children of Israel among the heathens. Nowhere in the scriptures did Yeshua say, go teach the heathens. He said to his disciples, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. These twelve Jesus set forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yeshua responded to the Kenyanite heathen woman asking his help that the Most High sent him to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Israelites, it is wise to compare the scriptures. Do not rely on just one Bible version, especially if you're having difficulties hearing from the Holy Spirit. The synagogue of Satan know you love the King James Version. Now that many are waking up, the King James Version is being altered constantly. The people John was teaching were Israelites. Remember, Yahshua gave his disciples strict instructions to go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. John was informing his brethren that Yah loved the children of Israel. He gave his only begotten son to the house of Israel. Whosoever within the Israelites take heed to his teaching will not perish but have everlasting life. 
The synagogue of Satan do not want you to know there is a difference between the Gentiles and the heathens. Satan do not want you to know how to identify the Gentiles in the scriptures and the heathens. Because most people do not know how to differentiate, that is how Satan was able to deceive the world into believing the imposters pretending to be the Israelites today under a new name descend from the 12 tribes. The scripture said they are members of the synagogue of Satan. Remember, the scripture said they are of the synagogue of Satan, not I. The word Gentile in the scriptures, depending on the context of the scripture, is often referring to the northern kingdom of Israel. Now that you understand whom John was speaking to, now you would have to determine, is Yah really an Elohim to all like religion professed? The Most High said he was the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. Moses was an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. Matthew and Paul in the New Testament refer to the Most High as the Elohim of our fathers. The God of Abraham, and of Isaac, and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, hath glorified his son Jesus, whom ye delivered up, and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. When the Most High interact with his people, he always identify himself as the Elohim of their fathers or the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Remember, Yahshua sent his disciples to the children of Israel among the heathens. Yah never said he was the God to all. When the synagogue of Satan altered the scriptures, that is when he became a God to all. In addition, his mission changed from saving his people to saving the world. Wherefore say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will rid you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgments. And I will take you to me for a people, and I will be to you a God, and ye shall know that I am the Lord your God, which bringeth you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. You only have I known of all the families of the earth, Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. And the Lord hath avouched thee this day to be his peculiar people, as he hath promised thee, and that thou shouldest keep all his commandments. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself, above all the nations that are upon the earth. And it came to pass, at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. The Most High was speaking to the Israelites in the scriptures you just have heard. Throughout the Bible, it reveals that the other nations had their own God they worship and serve. Just as it is today, nothing has changed with the other nations serving other gods. Many serve Allah, Buddha, and so on. The Most High said that the whole world is his and everything that's in it. Yah have chosen the Israelites as his people. Yah sent his only begotten son to the house of Israel. If the children of Israel believe in him, they will not perish but have eternal life. The Bible scholars who translated John 3.16 should not have used the word world. Instead, it should have said Yah's people or Israelites. The synagogue of Satan purposely put the word world to better suit their agenda. Yah said in the New and Old Testaments that he disliked the world. Yahshua preached to his people his kingdom is not of this world. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. The scriptures reveal we are not to act like the world. The scriptures state anyone who loves the world is an enemy to the Most High. Why would the Most High send his only begotten son to die for the world? Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, Therefore the world hateth you, ye adulterers and adulteresses, 
Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. The scriptures clearly state anyone who is a friend to the world becomes an enemy to Yah. It is obvious Yah was referring to his people and who is his people? The Israelites. The other nations served their God and kept the customs of their traditions. Yah said Esau I hate but Jacob I love. As it is written, Jacob have I loved but Esau have I hated. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them, the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation for ever. There are multiple scriptures expressing the love Yah have for his people, the Israelites. He never once said how much he loves all people in the world. Religion has butchered the scriptures and gave the gospel a different message, a worldly message. The synagogue of Satan has taken the Israelite customs and transformed our heritage into a worldwide religion system. This is why you notice an emphasis in the mainstream media to love all people and accepting of all people. If the Most High is transforming your mind, why are your views the same as the world? Numerous of time Yah said not to imitate the world. This world will perish and everything in it, except those whose name is written in the book of life. Would Yah send his only begotten son to die for the world he plans to destroy? This is one of the many errors in religion. The hybrids have translated the Bible several times. There are well over a hundred Bible versions on the shelves today. The only way you'll be able to understand the Bible is by the Most High revealing His truth to you, spending time in the Most High's presence and serving Him in the Spirit and in the truth. This teaching will be too deep for those whose eyes Yah have not opened. Remember, this is not my words. Leave your emotions out of it. Read the Bible for what it is and do not try to add or remove from the scriptures. Your personal opinion does not matter. Only Yah have the final say. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And, if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. Now that you understand the meaning to John 3.16, I recommend when studying the Bible, know who the disciples are speaking to, and you must know who the descendants of the children of Israel are today. Most of the letters in the New Testament starts by greeting the people the letter is addressing. James, a servant of God, and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. Isaiah chapter 28 verse 10 say, Precept must be upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. The evidence remains in our history book, the Bible. If you ask the Most High, he will reveal the information to you, Israelites. Do not overlook the small details in the scriptures. These little findings reveal an enormous amount of information. John 3.16 was the scripture Satan used to build his religion system. The Most High warned us that what is popular with the world is an abomination. Now that you know the truth behind this verse, continue to seek your Elohim, Israelites, and he will reveal more truth to you. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The Son therefore shall make you free. Ye shall be free.